Well, New Year's Eve is right around the corner. Local restaurants and bars are trying to keep some old traditions alive, despite some celebrations being canceled. First News reporter Samantha Bender spoke with some about their big plans for the night. New Year's Eve may look a bit different downtown, but that's not stopping some restaurants and bars from taking part in the festivities. The usual music, face painting, and dancing that comes with the annual First Night Youngstown celebration will be missing for the second year in a row. But Mark Canzanetta, owner of Bistro 1907, tells me they're still expecting a large turnout. We are packed. I mean, we're loaded with reservations, so we're going to have a nice New Year's Eve. As does Ann Masulo with Avalon Downtown after seeing the turnout downtown for Christmas. Even though... Um, the parade was canceled for lighting of the tree. You still had several thousands of people that came to watch the lighting of the tree, even though there wasn't a parade. But there's no denying that restaurants and bars will be impacted by the celebration being canceled. It does affect business, obviously, because it doesn't bring out the families with the little ones that go to the Y, go to Cavelli for ice skating and face painting and all that stuff. Ann says the pizzeria will be open for business just like they are every New Year's Eve. They'll be taking COVID precautions just like Bistro 1907. We'll be going, you know, just like we did last time, over the top as much as we can with COVID precautions. We don't want anybody to get sick. Mark tells me the restaurant gets COVID sprayed every night and has sanitation stations. His two main goals for New Year's Eve, not to put anyone in harm's way and to make it a great night. We're ready to go. I mean, it's going to be, you know, as best of his new year. It's been a very trying year again with COVID. In Youngstown, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27, First News.